Well, turkey time and pets apparently don't always mix well. First at four, we are helping you get ready to make sure that mealtime is enjoyable for everyone. For everybody. And joining us live now with some tips, Kelly Karens, who serves on the board of directors for the Chicago Veterinary Medical Association. We are talking about pet safety. Thank you so much uh, for being on the program. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right, so start us off by uh, running us through some of the basic safety concerns that you have going into holidays. Yeah, this is a great opportunity to educate our pet parents. The holidays are a wonderful time to create those memorable celebrations with your family, your friends, and that does include your beloved pets. But we do need to recognize that with all of the rich foods that are being prepared and often the larger gatherings, it's important to be proactive, to take time to plan ahead for your pets and be aware of how they can safely take part in that Thanksgiving celebration. I must admit, I got an email from my vet today talking about Thanksgiving safety. I hadn't thought about it before. So give me some of the idea. You, of course, take care of animals here in the Chicago area. What are some of the things you see around the holidays? Well, the first thing is food. We want to know how our pets can take part in the tasty feast at Thanksgiving. We need to recognize that the best and safest food for our family, friends, our cats and dogs and exotic pets is the food that is designed for them. So it's really best to reward them during the holiday meal with a treat that's been formulated specifically for them. Turkey. Everybody wants to know about turkey. In very small amounts, without the skin, cooked fully and with no bones, most pets can have a tiny piece of turkey. But it's really best to consult with your family veterinarian to make sure that's appropriate for your pet related to their specific health and wellness and any underlying disease processes that might be going on with them. It's also super important to recognize that a lot of foods that we eat are toxic to our cats and dogs. We don't wanna be feeding them yeast bread or batter, things with sugar, things that are rich or fatty, no chocolate, raisins, onions, many things that are we think are really yummy for us can actually have some adverse consequences for our pets. So again, when in doubt, talk to your veterinarian and find out what treat might be okay in a small quantity from your plate to your pet's plate. Wow, okay, I'm not a dog person, mm -hmm. so I thought table scraps were just a no. free for all. Uh, evidently not. Uh, what are some of the worst outcomes you've seen? I just wanna uh, make, make sure people are aware of some of those. Well, the real simple one that we see commonly is tummy upset. Mm -hmm. And that's really unpleasant for the pet and that's really unpleasant for the family. But we can see sometimes very severe and even, even life-threatening cases of pancreatitis from eating food that a dog or a cat should not eat, especially fatty or rich foods. And this can be deadly. Uh, we also can see some foods like chocolate can cause life-threatening toxicities to pets as well. Wow. You know, so, I, we don't have a lot of time yet, but quickly just tell us if you see something like that may be happening, when yeah. do you know it's time to call your vet, even if it's Thanksgiving Day? Sure. Quick action can save lives. When in doubt, it is best to call your vet or a local urgent care or 24-7 emergency facility. I'm grateful we have a lot of those in the Chicagoland area. If you believe your pet has been poisoned or eaten something that they shouldn't have eaten or having a toxicity, you can also call the ASPCA Poison Control Hotline or the Pet Poison Helpline. And those numbers are easy to find on the internet. Okay. There is always a veterinary provider though that is there for you, 24 seven emergency care. That's what we're here for. All right, great info headed into this holiday week. Kelly, thank you so much for your insight and uh, uh, expertise. We appreciate it. 